Welcome, Danny. Thank you so much for having me back again. It's always such an honor to be on your show. So let's talk about Yom Kippur. We spoke about Rosh Hashanah, the other time that we spoke, the head of the Jewish year, which Torah-wise from the Bible, remember we said about Yom Teruah, it is called the day of the blowing of the Shofar. So that's on the seventh month, because we counted from Nisan being the month that the Jewish people left Egypt. Seven months later is Tishrei. And all of these high holy days are in the month of Tishrei. So Yom Kippur, what we know is Yom Kippur, the best translation of, is the Day of Atonement, uh, is both spoken about in the book of Bamidbar, Numbers, and also Vayikra Leviticus. And I want to, I think it's better to talk about it from Leviticus. There are more sp uh, specifics there. So in Leviticus chapter 23, straight after we talk about the day of Yom Trua, of the Shofar blowing, it says in verse 26, Vayedaber Hashem el Moshe lemor, God spoke to Moses saying, Ach, but, Be'esor lachodesh hashvi'i, on the 10th day of the 7th month, Hazer, this one, Yom HaKippurim, a day of atonement, Hu Mikra Kodesh Yelachem. It will be called holy. It's a holy occasion for you. Ve'initem et nafshotechem. And you shall afflict yourselves. Ve'ikravtem isher l'adonai. And you shall bring a fire offering to the Lord. Once again, we're bringing a fire offering. So if you want to look it up in the Torah, in the Bible, the five books of Moses, it's in Leviticus, Vayikra, chapter 23, verse 26. It carries on. We're going to go back uh, in a second, but let's, let's carry on for a second. Do not do any mundane work just like on the Yom Truah. On this day, because it's a day of affliction. Why? To gain atonement for you. Before the Lord your God. Next verse 29. But any soul that does not afflict itself. On this day, v'nichreta me'ameha will be uh, wiped out, will be cut off from its nation. V'chol asher ta'aseh chol melacha be'etzim ayom hazen. Anyone who does mundane work, which we should actually do a show on, what does that mean, mundane work? V'ha'avadeti et ha'nefesh ha'hi mikerev ama. And I will destroy that person from amidst its people. So this is really strong language from God. Okay, on the 10th day of the seventh month is a day of atonement for your souls. What's atonement? How does your soul atone? We'll take a look at that in a second. 